Sterlite firing case, Rajnikanth's statement is going to be recorded. Rajnikanth has been summoned on the Tutikor and firing uh, probe. The superstar had commented that uh, anti-social elements infiltrated the protest and a one-woman probe panel into the 2018 May Tutikor and violence panel headed by a retired judge Aruna Jagadishan. Uh, this anti-sterlite violence, remember, had killed 13 people and it is this comment which seems to have landed Rajnikant in trouble. Uh, Uma, back to you. Uh, what more details do we have about uh, the line of questioning? Uh, what, what exactly is going to be... Uh, what does the what do the authorities actually want to question Rajnikant on? The authorities want to ask him specifically, or rather, the one judge panel would like to question him on what basis he made that comment about anti-social elements having infiltrated the protesters. Uh, you would re recall, like you were mentioning, that in Tutukudi we had uh, these protests against the uh, copper plant, the Sterlite Vedanta Sterlite copper plant, and the allegation was that it's causing too much of pollution, and the locals were wanting that to be uh, removed from that area, and that's when the protests broke out, and subsequently during prohibitory orders, people had laid siege to the collectorate, after which uh, there were allegedly some attacks on policemen, after which the firing happened, and 13 people were in fact uh, killed in May 2018 during that violence. Subsequently, Rajnikanth had commented saying not just about uh, the presence of anti-social elements in the uh, crowd there or in the, among the protesters there, he also condemned what was uh, seen as towing the line of the government saying that he would not like to see any person, any person in uniform referring to the policemen being attacked and saying that these kind of protests uh, everywhere and anywhere would leave to, would leave uh, Tamil Nadu as a graveyard. What is uh, interesting is not just uh, the questioning itself, but this comes at a time when uh, Rajnikanth is uh, taking his first steps into uh, becoming a politician. And he has said that in January, in fact, he'll be launching his political party. Yeah. And at this time, for him to have to make a statement to this uh, one judge panel would be a little embarrassing, if I may put it that way, because uh, there was public sentiment uh, that seemed to suggest that Rajnikanth is, in fact, towing the line of the ruling AI ADMK. And uh, he, at this point, a certain he said that he is going to be distant from the AIA DMK, distinct and distant from the AIA DMK. Back to you. Okay, Uma Sudhir, many thanks for joining us. Let's put this to a discussion on how this should be viewed. Uh, his questioning, Rajni Khan's questioning, uh, it's just a little less than 10 days left for him to launch his political party. Uh, political analyst Pula Rao now joins us uh, on Skype. Thank you very much, Mr. Rao. Uh, we also have Kasturi, actor and a political analyst. And uh, Dr. Suman C. Raman, he's a political analyst, uh, he's also joining us. Thank you, all of you all. Let's begin with you, Mr. Raman. Uh, what do you make of this, uh, this notice to appear and, and be questioned? Oh, it's, a, uh, I, it's just a spectacle. I mean, there's no logic in it. This man, after visiting, um, you know, quite many days after the incident uh, occurred, he came back and at the airport, he made a statement that, uh, you know, the protests had been infiltrated by anti-social elements. And that is what I was told. Now, on that basis, um, to call him for questioning is, is quite rare. Frankly, it is quite ridiculous. And I think that it's the symbolism of it. And I think the AIA DMK is not very sure if Rajnikanth is going to, um, you know, sort of take instructions from the BJP with whom the AIA DMK is in an alliance. Yeah. So I think that the, pers uh, the purpose at this point of time is to have something that could be held, uh, you know, as a kind of a, a pressure tactic against Mr. Rajnikanth to embarrass him. But uh, I mean, is anything going to come out of it? No way. I mean, this is just a, a statement that was made at the airport to mm -hmm. reporters. Hmm. And uh, you know, he never said that I have concrete evidence which I will present to a people or to the police. I mean, if he had evidence, he could have given it suo motto to the commission. Why wait for him to be questioned by the um, uh, one, uh, one, one person, one judge commission? He could have gone ahead and presented the evidence that he had. So clearly, this is, uh, this is just a wild goose chase. It's being done uh, as a spectacle, you know, to say that, look, uh, you know, if you don't know the line, we too can, uh, you know, give you trouble. So I think that's the purpose of it. Nothing no, who will can, come who can it. give trouble, Dr. Raman? Look, who can the, give trouble? No, see, the point is the AIA DMK government uh, believes, and for a very long time, even now they do not criticize Mr. Rajnikanth very se severely, the way, you know, the others do, uh, others have started to do. 
So if you look at social media, if you look at even the mainstream media, the AIDMK is quite muted in its criticism of mm. Mr. Rajinikanth because even now they feel that there is the possibility of an AIADMK, BJP, Rajinikanth, PMK uh, alliance taking on the Congress DMK combined. Mm. So that is their strategy. And until 31st of December, when Mr. Rajinikanth comes out with this statement, we do not know the answer to that question. Mm. But at the same time, they want to show that you know they too have cards to play, and oh. you know calling him for a uh, while we can say that this is a decision of the judge, uh, you know who's yeah because that's him. exactly Why? what I was wondering. A lot of people would turn around and say that this is uh, this is a panel which has summoned him. Uh, it's not the government. No, no, this is a, one no, woman pro panel. Clearly, no, no, clearly had the AADMK wish. They could have requested Mr. Rajnikanth off the record and said, please go and give your evidence to the committee. So a motto. There okay. is nothing which prevents anyone from going and sure. presenting their evidence before an inquiry commission. As okay, you must Mr. be well aware. And yeah, to say yeah. that a notice has to be served on you for you to go and Okay, so you, you feel them. that this is every bit but, political. You feel that this is every bit political. Kasturi, what about okay. you? What is your assessment? Uh, I'm going to come at it from two angles. Hmm. The first angle is it's all about Rajinikanth. Uh, Mr. Rajinikanth is known for his taciturn ways. He uh, is very measured in his responses to, he has been very measured in his responses to a lot of issues in Tamil Nadu that have been headlining uh, in the past few years. But he was very vocal about the Sterlite uh, issue. He was very... Uh, firm in his conviction that it was not something that was done by people. It was not a people's rebellion. It was more uh, anti-nationals who were involved. He was, um, <laughs> he was completely on the side of the police and the government at that point. And let me remind uh, the speaker before me that uh, the, he was in fact in favor of the ruling ADMK's firing on uh, certain parts of that uh, that protest, uh, terming those people as anti-nationals, uh, mm. anti-socials, mm. so to speak. So uh, perhaps it is because Mr. Rajnikanth has been very measured in his responses to many issues, but he has been very firm in, and even though there was public outrage, uh, he still stuck by his views that legally a commission that is uh, installed to investigate uh, every mm. angle mm. of the Sterlite shootings cannot ignore Mr. Rajnikanth's views. They mm. are uh, constrained to call him and uh, tick that box away, uh, as you will. Okay, this is one uh, Dr. Raman does not agree, but I'm going to come back to him. Pula Rao. It is ridiculous yeah. to say that you have to yeah. wait for a notice to be served to you. You know that this inquiry commission has been going on almost from that the day, the, uh, you know, from not, weeks after that, the shooting that is, happened. That has nothing to do with the commission. A summon has been given by the commission. You cannot say Rajinikanth should act suo moto to aid the commission. No. That has nothing. It's irrelevant. It's an irrelevant point. But there is one thing that ADMK is trying to do now. It's trying to establish itself as not a purpose of the okay, central region. One by one, please. This oh, is Lord. one of those it's measures yes. where they are Kasturi and Dr. Raman, one by one, please. Pula Rao has not spoken. Mr. Pula Rao. Yeah, well, yeah, one more. Mr. Pula Rao, how do you look at this? Because, you know, I clearly I clearly remember there was a lot of a lot of people in when in 2018 this comment was made. Uh, there was a lot of deep study as to what context in which Rajnikanth has said what he has. What has he said? Absolutely. Many people voice these things. But, you know, Rajnikanth has to be clear about one thing. Now he is a politician. And Tamil Nadu politics are very, very vindictive. He has to be careful what he is going to say, what he has said. And he will not get away with these things. What he has said earlier as an actor, as a very popular man, as a well-known figure. No, so what are you alleging? Do you, are you saying that there was some loosely crafted statements which are now coming back to haunt him? Absolutely. All these will come back. Tamil Nadu has got very competitive politics. Hmm. Every inch, every inch matters. They want to deny them. They want to bring him down to earth. It may be all the established politicians also together. They like to see him down. They're against new actors. You know, Stalin had called actors flowers without fragrance. Mm. They're, they're fake flowers. Therefore, you can see that this kind of, you know, they want to bring him down a bit. 
They say you're an ordinary man. You have to go and stand in the commission. And so Rajini Kant has to be prepared for many more such things. He has taken a very big step, a very big step of all this prestige. Everything is on the line. Well, so you know, I, I don't know. I don't know how politics in the South happens or particularly in Tamil Nadu. But Dr. Raman, uh, this sounds like a perfect political opportunity for a person making a political foray to appear before a, a, a panel to record his statement. I mean, he can make a he can make song and dance about it if he wants. Look, uh, he is being merely not he is not being called for um, uh, for questioning in a, in, a, in a interrogation kind of a, a yeah, sense. Correct. Correct. He made a statement voluntarily under no pressure to the media, and he is being asked if he has any evidence to support the statement that he has made. Correct. Now, this could be a two-minute or a five-minute uh, discussion where he tells them, look, I just made the statement based on hearsay of what someone told him. Because but that I will speak poorly of him. At a time no, no, when he is launching his party, it will speak poorly of him. It, it speaks extremely poorly of him. Unless, no, either way he loses here. Because if he goes to the no. commission and gives them detailed evidence now, then the question would come, why didn't he do it earlier? Okay. Why would you have to wait for uh, for the commission? You had evidence that anti-national forces, anti-social elements had infiltrated a protest which led to the firing and killing of 13 people. Yeah. And you didn't go and so moto give it to the committee, commission yeah. of inquiry until a summons was issued. Yeah. That doesn't look good. Correct. So obviously he cannot go and say, I've got a huge mountain of evidence which I've been sitting on for the last two years without coming in, giving it to you. Correct. So it's it's a that's why this is a... a, a Good move by the AIA DMK to put him under a little bit of pressure. Okay, now, okay. Kasturi, to... Kasturi doesn't agree. Forget about it. No, I, just forget about it. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I, I, I don't think um, uh, Mr. Rajnikanth is going to have to, I don't think it's going to work out that way. I mean, this is a, a very fanciful thinking. Um, everybody had an opinion on the, on the Sterlite shootings. Every Everybody who is interested in politics went on social media and had an opinion on it, either for uh, the victims or for the government. Um, everybody had an opinion. Uh, Mr. Rajinikanth is entitled to his own opinion. It, it could have some sources that he is not duty bound to reveal. He doesn't have to blow. That is not something that is a legal mandate. He doesn't have to do that. Uh, it, this is not a police investigation. This is a legal. It's a commission. It's a so it's it's a completely different uh, thing. So and I'm sure Mr. Raman knows no, that. But his opinion but anyway, has to be based uh, on I facts. No. One part of it is that it's is coming across. Of... I think trying. I don't even think that timing is that uh, well that... orchestrated by the ADMK as well. I think these okay. things happen. Okay, I've run out of time. I think what Kasturi is trying to say corona, is that is that everybody wants a little bit of celeb Rajni in their life. Uh, you can't do without Rajni Kant, and that's why they put a little Rajni Kant in this probe. Also, uh, it was not required. But uh, uh, Dr. It'll Raman, make the commission look good. Look, we questioned everyone. So. Okay, okay, it'll make the commission look good that they questioned everyone, and and uh, and and it may look. Uh, you know, it may make them appear to be fair also. But Dr. Raman Kasturi as well as Pularao, thank you so much for joining us. Stopping for a short break at this moment, news and updates continue on the other side.